Hello guys. Today we will talk about what is Google Cloud Platform and how can you use one of its feature to host your own website. Go to Google Cloud Platform and here go to Google Cloud Console and sign up there. I have already did that so I won't do it again so after signing up you will be logged into this Google Cloud Platform and this is how it will look like now the one feature that we will use of Google Cloud is Compute Engine and as you can see here it is saying that you have $300 in credit and 362 days left in your free trial so my account this is trial account and for trial account Google Google gives 300 credits so you can play around with their products but you have to be careful while signing up if you want your account to be in trial mode then you should select account type individual not business I did that mistake and I didn't got any credits for a second account that I have now what you need to do is create a VM instances think of it like <clears throat> a computer that is located somewhere and it is lock it is all installed by Google somewhere now you will basically uh, borrow a, a virtual machine from Google it is just like your machine your computer creating an instance will let you create a will let you own a machine so here you can create you can choose the specifications of the machines of the machine that you want to create like name it whatever you want its instance 3 here so I won't change it zone basically you can choose uh, the location where all these uh, servers are located so I will choose Asia East B1 now choose the machine type I will choose the smallest micro 0.6 GB memory it has a 0.6 GB of RAM now boot disk which OS you want to install in that let's not change it and proceed with Debian GNU Linux 8 here allow full access to cloud APIs allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic because if you want to host a website then your server must allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic and continue now basically you have a computer connected to internet of your own now you can play it the way you want we are logging into that computer using SSH that is secure shell we will gain access to the shell of the computer so here as you can see I have access to the terminal of that computer which is provided to me by Google gain root permissions and now if you know how to uh, operate on Ubuntu then you must know what I am doing it is basically updating the repositories of of this OS now we need to install a web server on this computer to do this we will type apt get install okay now you have installed web server into this computer now let's uh, go to this IP and it should uh, it should show this page CD
this index.html that you can see it is the default page that is installed by the server in this PC and it will show this page when we will log when we will go to that IP the IP of this computer this is that page Apache 2 Debian default page it works it will be the title of that page so let's go to the IP of this computer as you can see here the page has been loaded it means that the server is working fine uh, now make sure that you use HTTP protocol here not HTTPS if you do this if you click on this directly then it will because it will not work because it is a, it is a HTTPS request and uh, our server is not configured to ST handle HTTPS requests right now so now and now if I stop it stop this machine it is stopping the machine it is in progress right now it is taking time yeah now stopping VM instance instance 3 succeeded let's reload the page and you won't see anything here as you can see it is not loading this so yes what we did all that worked now what you want to do is get a DNS for the IP that we were assigned uh, Google that Google Cloud Platform also has that feature cloud DNS so I have not yet tried this feature but um, I think it will not be tough to uh, know how this feature will work and how will you be able to assign a name to your IP address and now basically that is all you need to start a website to host a website